we're going to get into the dogs of the Dow. The dogs of the Dow, again, it's the word dogs refers to stocks that have been the that have the highest dividend yield due to the fact they have a lower share price and are out of favor with investors. You know, that's the underdogs per se. Um, the dogs of the Dow stocks includes Verizon Communications, Intel, Walgreens, Dow Inc., which is a chemical company, 3M, Chevron, IBM, Amgen, Cisco Systems, and J.P. Morgan Chase. So those are the uh, the, the 10 Dow, Dow dogs right now for 2023. Um, and so only one Dow, dogs of the Dow variant has proven to beat the, perf the performance of uh, the Dow Jones Industrial Average, the so-called small dogs of the Dow strategy. Now, the small dogs of the Dow requires that investors further concentrate their positions by investing in only five of the highest yielding Dow uh, components with the lowest stock price. The ordinary dogs of the Dow strategy tells investors to purchase the top 10 highest yielding stocks, regardless of the stock price. Now, the small dog strategy, especially in correlation with my dividend portfolio strategy, more resonates with me. If you know uh, my, my, my strategy with my uh, dividend portfolio, you know I like buying stocks typically under $100, typically under $50. I only have a couple stocks over the $60 uh, range right now. And while you know I have to be flexible with this, the reason why I like stocks $50 and under is because you can accumulate more shares. And if you feel like you have a company that has uh, a potential to raise in stock price, a growth potential and more of a stock price, that gives you more leverage and more of a percentage gain. When you get into higher uh, stock prices that are in the hundreds, 200, 300s, the percentage gain starts to dwindle very fast. And a lot of those companies, their um, their dividend yields are you know a percent, uh, under a percent. Um, and so, depending on what your your goal is, my goal is to you know have higher returns. You know, I'm young, I like higher returns. So that means that leads me to having smaller dog type yields. The small dogs, the, the small dogs of Dow strategy, 313 English ordinal. Dogs of Dow Jones perform decent, also 313 uh, English ordinal. If you could just uh, take off that one, you have that 33 using the parent number rule. Also, dogs of Dow Jones perform decent, 133 in English reduction. Again, we love seeing that high powered investment number. Dogs of Dow, good stocks with bad years, 137 English reduction, the 33rd prime. So again, we're on the Dow Jones. If you're on the Dow Jones, that means you are a pretty uh, reputable company. You know, you've been around a long time. They don't just allow any company in the Dow Jones. So if you're a dog in the Dow Jones, that just means you have a bad year. And if people aren't afraid of that, they can have good opportunities with good uh, discounted prices. And that's what we like here. We like discounts. Also, I like to say Dow Jones equals 33 English production. So off the bat, simple 33, easy enough. Now, I already already said what the dogs uh, that we've invested in, in my portfolio, they're both small dogs. I, Verizon and, top, and Walgreens are top dog equals 333 English ordinal. I think that's important, and I, I believe these stocks moving forward will uh, shake themselves out and will grow in price. VZ, WBA, our best dogs of Dow in year 2023. 331 English ordinal, which is just the reverse of 133. But you see in the English reduction, again, the top investment numbers popping up, 133 English reduction. So again, VZ, WBA, our best dogs of Dow in year 2023. That's why I'm investing in them. The gematria is telling me so. Best two dogs of Dow Jones in 2023, VZ and WBA, 137 English reduction, 33rd prime. Best yielding 2023 Dow Jones dogs, VZ, WBA, 137 reduction, 1,377 in satanic. Now, this is where when 
you know, you might see this. There's an extra seven there. Really, I see that as like a, just an extended version of 137. You know, some people may not, you know, see it like that. You know, it's all what you what you see, you perceive yourself when decoding. It's not a perfect science. You know, some might not, you know, view that as a, a good decode, but I like seeing things like that. Um, it's a, just a big 137 in my case, how I see it. So there's a lot of Gematria saying that Verizon and uh, Walgreens are the ones to choose from the Dow in this strategy.